In this video, you'll learn how to make and animate a model of this spinner using Onshape. The spinner consists of three unique parts. For this project, we'll be using a top-down design method. This means that all three parts will be modeled in the same part studio. This powerful technique allows us to reference dimensions and constraints from one part to the next, ensuring that they will all fit together in the final assembly. The first part we'll create is the bearing, which goes into the middle of the spinner. The next part will be the spinner itself. And last will be one side of the hub. Starting in the Onshape document window, choose Create and choose Document. From here, we'll name this Spinner and choose OK. Next, we'll go to the Document menu, click, and choose Workspace Units. Make sure that we're working in millimeters for this project. Looking at the drawing of the bearing, I can see that the inside diameter is 8 millimeters and the outside diameter is 22. The part thickness is 7 millimeters. Working in my part studio, I'm going to start a new sketch using the sketch button. Click and choose the top sketch plane and then right click and choose view normal to the sketch plane or I could use N on the keyboard. From here, on my sketch tools, I'm going to choose a center point circle. I'm going to snap the center of this circle to the origin on the sketch plane. This is the inside hole on my bearing, so it's 8 millimeters, and I'll set that diameter. Again, center point circle from the origin. Second time, this is 22 millimeters for the outside diameter. and hit escape to turn off my center point circle. From here I'm going to use P on the keyboard to turn off the work planes. Right click and choose confirm sketch 1. I could use this or the green button on the sketch box. Right click again and go to isometric view and this shows a closed profile that I'm going to use for my extrusion. So extrude, first thing it wants me to do is choose a profile or a face. So I'm choosing this one. Notice that it excludes the center uh, circle, so I have a hole. This is the shape that I want. I want a thickness of seven millimeters. And for the type of, of extrusion I want symmetric. So this means that half of the material will be above and half below of the sketch plane that I'm on. With this I'll accept my part and I have my bearing. Over here in the parts list it says part one has been created. I'm going to right click and rename this and this is now going to be the bearing. And in my feature list, I can see here is sketch one and my extrude. 